few. Hi guys, welcome to Empower Your Body. I'm Alicia Klegel. This week we will be discussing portion control, which was suggested to us from one of our viewers, AVM1880. Also give you great exercises for weight loss and talk about determination. We'll be back. So today's fit tip has to do with portion control. This was suggested to me from one of the viewers, again, AVM1880, this is for you. And you guys let me know if you have anything that you want me to speak about. I will make sure to speak about it for you. So now, there are over one billion people on this planet that are overweight. If you think about, there are about seven billion on the planet. That's one out of every seven people on this planet who are overweight. It's a large number, especially if you consider there are many, many people in poverty and starving. So that's a high number, guys. One billion overweight. And a third is obese, are obese. One out of every three are obese. This is, these numbers are way too high. So I know lots of diets. You want low sugar. You want low carb, high protein, low fat. Yes, yes, yes. But the bottom line comes down to calories in versus calories out. Unless there's a hormonal or metabolic issue, you really want to look at the numbers. To lose weight and to keep it off successfully, one of our episodes we spoke about this, you want to make sure you keep your metabolism elevated. There are two ways to do that. Number one is you move. You have to move your body. And we'll be going over that later in the week, the exercises. But what we're speaking about today is your food intake and how to make sure you're not overeating. Portion is the amount you serve yourself. You could serve yourself this much, you could serve yourself this much. So I don't really want to label it portion, I wanna look at servings. A serving size is a specific measurement that which you can uh, relate to for calories, grams of fat, and so forth. So a serving of milk is eight ounces, about 100 calories, depending on, depending on if it's low fat. Do you serve yourself eight ounces or do you serve yourself more? So what is the portion? You could give your portion 16 ounces, but the serving is what I want you to think of. Think of an orange the size of a tennis ball. That is about 60 calories. A half a cup, just a half a cup of mixed vegetables is the size of a baseball. These are small, guys. These are small, my fist. That's about 25 calories. Then you have half a cup of whole wheat pasta, which is the size of a hockey puck. And that is about 70 calories. Now this one's interesting. You can have two ounces of cheese two ounces of cheese. It is the size of four dice, four die. Think of little dice that you play with. That's two ounces, four little dice, and that's 110 calories. As well as what's 110 calories are 2.5 ounces of skinless chicken. So you can get more chicken for the same calories or those little squares of cheese for the same calories. Think about your serving sizes that you're giving yourself. I also have something here, excuse me. We have, this is what John, <laughs> who's always behind the camera, found in his car, because we were quick, I needed this. <laughs> something with a uh, food guide back here. So what I want you to think of is, look at these numbers. Yep, stay that close, please. You have servings per container two. You have calories at 270. You have fat at 16 grams and so forth and so forth. But what I want you to remember is, is that the servings per container are two. So when you look at this, I don't want you to think that whatever numbers are here are for this whole bar or for this whole food or for this whole drink. You wanna look at servings per container. If it's two, that means half of this are all these numbers. If it's three, that means a third of this are all those numbers. So actually, this is not 270 calories, this is 540 calories, and I do not want John eating this. It's my okay. wife's. 
<laughs> so please think about your serving size that's specifically measured as opposed to just your portions of food you're serving yourself. There's no limit with portions. So I hope that that helps you. Again, you guys want me to do anything specific for you? Let me know, I will host your question. My question to you is, how many calories extra do you need to eat every day in order for you to have a 10 pound weight gain at the end of the year? Okay? When we come back, and you guys see us next time, we're gonna be doing the exercise portion. And please don't ever forget, until next time, please be well, eat well, drink plenty of water, and don't ever forget to empower your body. Thank you.